Okay, so today we're going to learn about unary operators, and they're basically uh, operators that increment or uh, decrease by one value. And so uh, we're also going to learn about left and right value and what the sign operator does when uh, it handles these types of situations. So in front of me, I have a unary operator. Uh, project so basically create a new project and uh, just name it unary operators and again we're using our standard uh, template layout so first thing I did was I went ahead and assigned a variable uh, variable 1 is equal to 15 and then I assigned uh, four other variables variable 2 variable 3 variable 4 and variable 5 so I named them var 2 var 3 var 4 and var 5 and these don't have anything in them right now. So let's get started. First of all, I said var2 is assigned the value of negative var1. Now, uh, this minus sign is the uh, key right next to the plus key. If you look at the top row, you have backspace and then you have plus equals and minus and underscore. So this minus value is going to take whatever is in variable 1 and make it a negative number. So if you have 15, it's going to take variable 1, it's going to make it negative 15. So now we have negative 15, so keep that in mind. So it's going to put it back inside of variable 1 because we're making variable 1 a negative. So it's going to be okay. So we're going to make variable 1, we're going to change it from 15, we're going to make it negative and store it back into variable 1. So we have negative 15 and we assigned that value to variable 2. Okay, that's pretty simple enough. Now, what about minus minus? Well, the minus minus will actually decrease by 1. So here I s assign variable 1 to variable 3. Okay, and then so variable 1 was negative 14 and it became negative 15, I believe. No, nope, here we go. It became 14. So what happened was variable 2 got assigned this negative value. Variable 3 was going to assign 15 and then it did minus minus. So minus minus just means 1 minus the value. So it got 15 and then we subtracted 1 so we got 14. So then I just output uh, our basic output statements here to output and display the variables. So that's the minus minus, we decrease by one. Then we have the plus plus operator, which is basically um, increasing by one. So what happened was variable one is 15, increase it by one, and 15 plus one is 16. Then I did the plus operator, which is actually kind of strange. Um, plus effectively does nothing if you can see my comment it's just there we there's general generally no reason to use it um so yeah since variable 5 here variable 2 was negative 15 if you remember from earlier we said that it was just negative of 15 and even if we try to make it positive using the plus operator it does nothing it's still negative 15 so it's kind of pointless at this point in our programming lesson, but we might end up using it later. So we went over those, so then I went ahead and just to demonstrate in, that we can name our integers or variables anything we want, I made a variable named pizza. I said, okay, well pizza is equal to 7. Okay, so uh, the variable pizza is assigned the value 7, and then I said pizza is assigned pizza so variable is 7 plus 2 because I did pizza is, is assigned 7 plus 2 so 7 plus 2 is 9 now it's gonna store 9 into the variable pizza so pizza is not 7 anymore so that's why if I go ahead and show you it's gonna show 9 even though we said it was 7 we assigned it 7 we incremented it by 2 so there you go and there's actually a um, useful operator that instead of writing all of this out right here 
we can just use plus and equals. So if I do uh, make a new integer, and let's I'll, I'll call it car, okay? And I set car is assigned the value of five. Now I have car plus equals, which is the special um, assignment operator that uh, effectively increments on itself. It increments on the uh, the variable itself without having to set it back, assign it back to itself like we did with pizza. So then I said, okay, well, let's just take car and increment it by two. So car was five, increment by two, you get seven. Now, let's go ahead and exit this. And this also works with modulus, uh, subtraction, division, and multiplication. So I'm going to show you what modulus looks like. Modulus will look like that. Percentage equals. Okay. Subtraction will be minus equals. And division will be slash equals. Forward slash, by the way. And multiplication will be asterisk like we learned earlier. So it's going to take 5. Multiply by 2 on itself. 5 times 2 is 10. Go ahead and play around with this. I'll include the... Uh, file in the description. This is just to get a basic understanding of unary operators. And I talked about left and right values earlier. And it's sort of like in math class. So um, notice how I have a variable equal to a number. If this were math, we would say x equals 15. But in programming, we have this idea of left and right. And this also exists in math, because you can't say that 15 equals x, it doesn't make sense, right? You can't have a number. Our number is already 15. You can't make it equal something else. It's already defined. So left value is what you're assigning to, and the right value is anything to the right of the assignment operator is what is being assigned. Does that make sense? So here, let's just make this x be easy. So x is our left value, it's to the left of the assignment operator, and 15 is our right value. So if this were math class, you'd say x is equal to 15, and that makes sense, but you cannot say 15 is equal to x. It's one of those basic math concepts. Even if you did write 15 is equal to x, you know that x is equal to 15, but um, somewhere in math there's a rule that disallows you to do that, and if you do that on a math test, you will get points marked off. So, uh, yeah, and also in programming, it will not work. So, left value is the left value is the uh, value that is being assigned to it. So, whatever this variable is, it's a variable. You, you typically, if it's on the left, and the right is typically a constant or um, whatever is being assigned. So. Yeah, there's no real easy way to describe this other than um, whatever is um, like the math part. Like, let's say this was 15 times 5 or something. Like, this is already done. You can't set anything to this anymore. Right values generally cannot, that cannot happen. You can only assign to left values, usually in programming. Um, it may be different with some other programming languages, um, but if this needs a reiteration, just leave a comment and I might find another way to describe it. It's kind of hard to uh, do so. And before I finish this episode off, I just wanted to show you guys a cool little uh, um, website. It's c++.com. And here you can learn just about anything. Uh, that's where I get most of my information from. And, uh, you know, you can look at descriptions, history, frequently asked questions, and they also have, like, the complete, I'll call it a manual, uh, you call it documentation. Um, they have C++ language tutorials, in case you want to look at those. Um, if you go to information, there should also be a, I believe, references. Here, you can find just about anything you want, so in the C library, 
can look about containers, I.O., input output, um, generally just about anything. So if I go back here and I want to search uh, variables, just type it up and you're going to get a whole bunch of things like the tutorial talks about variables right here, declaration of variables. Um, yeah. And I believe I also wanted to show you guys another resource, which was Stack Overflow. Now, in case you're ever programming and you have issues, please go to Stack Overflow. This is basically where you can uh, post your issues, type up your code, post it, and if you're having issues, someone will look at it, hopefully, and they'll try to help you. There's um, just about anything like this is just basically like where programmers go in case they need help especially a lot of beginners sometimes even experts there's a lot of um, if you're just looking through here you'll see a lot of uh, expert stuff which we haven't learned yet in case you're following my beginners tutorial so links will be in the description to c++.com and stack overflow don't be shy you know, go out and learn resources you need to uh, learn C++. So that's going to conclude this portion. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you want to learn more or like the uh, content. And uh, have a nice day.